Hello everyone, my name is Brad Henson. Today I'd like to talk about AC to DC power supplies. One of the first circuits that I learned to build was a classic LM317 variable DC power supply. I know this has been a great kit for me. As I learn more about electronics and my circuits become more complicated, I've noticed a number of shortcomings with this device. And in this video, I'd like to identify those shortcomings and talk about how I plan to correct them. So to give you an idea of our starting place, I've taken the cover off the device. And what, we're, what we have here is a pretty basic DC power supply. It's a fuse mains input. It feeds a 12 volt 1.2 amp transformer. That feeds our home etched LM317 circuit. On this circuit, we have full wave bridge rectifier, some smoothing capacitors, some protection diodes. We have a relay for the load switch. We have a five volt power regulator for the relay and the front panel and the actual LM317 is mounted to the heat sink here on the back. Taking a look at the front panel we have our input jacks, fuse, a 10k 10 turn pot, panel voltage meter, and both our mains power and load power switch. For the deficiencies one of the things that I've noticed lately is that I'd really like to have some way of measuring current while using the device. Right now I just have one voltage panel meter on here. Uh, I'd like to increase the current rating from 1 amp to at least 3 amps. Uh, and even though I like these Hammond cases, uh, I'd like a more robust uh, panel, maybe something a little bit more professional looking. I'd like to spruce up the back end with a new heat sink and maybe a new AC plug. To overcome these deficiencies, I plan to upgrade the internal transformer to a 3 amp transformer. I'm going to add a secondary transformer to power a new current panel meter. I got this off of eBay for about $5. It works surprisingly well. But to accomplish that, I'm going to have to etch a new circuit board that will allow us to drop the AC or to convert the AC power to DC power and regulate it to use with the panel meter. And since we're going to add a secondary transformer, I'll plan to go ahead and add a constant 5 volt rail on the front. So we'll have a two channel power supply. To address the, uh, the panels, uh, I was looking at it and it looks like some copper clad that I have will probably make good front and rear panels. I'll have to cut it down a little bit, but I'll be able to etch whatever design, lettering, things like that that I want in there. I also have a new heat sink that I think will look a lot better on the back of the power supply. So if you're interested in this project, let me know by leaving a comment below and press the like button. Catch you next time.